hello everyone so today as you can see on my screen uh, something that is uh, not I mean you are not able to understand so I'm going to explain it what is this so actually this is a cave right you can see this uh, this looks like a cave like a structure okay so, to, so today we are going to create uh, in the blender uh, cave like structure as, as you can see uh, this looks like a curvy path uh, this looks like totally different what we have above i mean you see the uh, the uh, stones uh, the cave uh, the internal part of the cave which looks very distorted while the path that looks curvy seems some uh, similar to very flat i mean this looks like some uh, sand or mud kind of thing but uh, this is actually a stone as well so we are going to create uh, this one in blender so let's get started so i'm going to close this one uh, okay so before going uh, to start that what we need to do uh, uh, okay let's see uh, what we can do so first of all i'm going to delete the, the default cube and uh, create a cylinder because uh, you can say cave is some sort of cylindrical form so we have we will go and distort that okay but before that let's uh, uh, open the screen cost key so that you can see uh, here you can see now what i'm going uh, to do now i'm going to uh, rotate with uh, along with the x-axis -X, so r x and 90 degree so that uh, and i'm going to scale in the y direction a little bit okay and then go to edit mode to go to edit mode, press tab and going to add some loop cut right nice press 3 select both the surface because our cylinder will be um, i mean the you can say the cave will be open from both the side i mean uh, the first side will be open and the second side will have our camera so i'm going to delete both the faces as you can see this looks like i mean something that is that is going to be uh, uh, cave okay so before that uh let's propose oh where are you oh, okay one z z one now so that it's uh, come on the surface now press tab to go to edit mode and uh, in the edit mode what uh, i'm going to do i'm going to delete some uh, you can say edges so that uh, we can draw our straight path i mean that you saw in the image so i'm going to delete that so to select the edges press here uh, or you can say p2 type alt and select this one so whole line will be selected or i'm not good with that so this one and shift alt this one right so both the path that we have and if you press f this is going to be selected and if you wish you can delete um, these lines if you do not like that uh, for now i'm going to keep that okay i'm going to delete that i delete it uh, no worries okay okay remove them these areas are also selected which we don't want, I mean, we don't want to do that, but for now, that's you can keep it. Uh, there is nothing harm in that. Uh, delete the edges, right? As you can see, we selected few of the edges. I don't like this one, and then select X vertex. Now, this is perfect. Right, this looks like a path or tunnel kind of thing that we are going to pass. Now, after that, uh, our second task will be to give this the you can circular wall uh, a random stone shape. So, to give it a random stone shape, we, we can uh, go to scope mode and here we can use various brushes. Right now, if you are not familiar with any of them, 
no need to worry about that you have to just uh, deform it i mean deform it any way you like okay but before that uh, i forgot one thing to tell you guys uh, press 3 select this one press p and make it different so that you do not i mean uh, disturb this area while uh, working in scope mode okay so that's it select this part and come to scope mode mm, now you can see if i'm going to def uh, distort it i mean distort in the sense you can use any of the uh, uh, you can say this uh, scope mode uh, brushes that are available you can just yes, uh, deform it i mean deform it like in the form of uh, you can say um, you, how with the stones are some some part of the stones are like uh, upward some downward i mean the uh, deform that so that it's look like a stone okay I, I like that you can see uh, yes here yeah, you got that yep you just deform that okay so you can distort this one right even this part as well so that the paths uh, don't look like like uh, um, realistic. I mean, it will look realistic if you also distort this line too. Okay. Yep. I like that. Yes. This one too. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, just like this. That's good. And you can select this one too. If you wish to apply some uh, some part, otherwise uh, rotational, no, no, not like that. Okay, I want this one not so. Uh, that's totally fine. Okay, but mostly this will be helpful. Yes, uh, here we go. Great. Now this looks like. Now we need to just uh, uh, decrease the entry of the uh, cave. Uh, but if you do not want that, that's totally fine. You can leave it as it is. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> So if you look from the other side, this one is how it will look. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Now this looks something better. So go to object mode. Shade is smooth. Mm, this looks a little better okay now uh, select both i mean this uh, curve wall and the straight path as well so that we can rotate it so to rotate we need to go to edit mode i'm here in edit mode by selecting both the part i'm going to uh, just uh, enable viewport shading and selecting this part and on uh, make sure you uh, selected the proportional editing to select the proportional editing you just click here or press o okay now nah, it will work so now i am going to rot um, rotate it with the z axis r z yeah you see if you wish to rotate other part as well you can rotate yeah like this now if you look from this this side this will look a curve path right mm. yes i am happy with this path too okay that's good now i am going to add some some divide but uh, no need for that uh we can leave it for now if you want some do perfection thing then reduce but for now just keep it as it is Hmm. Come to object mode. 
now now this now this time is to uh, add some texture texture means the curve wall will have a stone texture and this one will add some you can say uh, muddy kind of thing or a different kind of stone so to add this texture you need to select that part and go to shading mm, in the shading mm, just wait click new it will add a new material press control shift t so this control shift t i have already explained uh, in my previous video so you can check out i will give the description there so now i i just downloaded this brown muddy drive from polyfills or generally known as texture heaven so i'm going to select uh, all these select all the uh, after control shift t and click click ok so now what will it will uh, it will do it will just go to apply the texture uh, on the defined path whatever path we have selected for now so for example we selected the path like shape so it will uh, do its job now after that this will not look what we are expecting okay so to fix this we need to go to uv editor i have already explained what is this node and how they are how they work actually if you want you can check out my previous videos if not then totally fine i suppose you already know that so just wait for a while so that my computer load it that's not a high configuration laptop now press u so if you press u it will give you option that unwrap so if you unwrap and come on this side and uh, if you see here z i mean material preview this looks not realistic okay to fix this uh, uh, fix this come here press a and scale it okay scale it as bigger and until it's look realistic okay uh, yes but now i'm happy with that this look good that's that's it now after that uh, come to layout and select the second part again go to shading i mean this is just my way if you are uh, more pro then you can adopt another way you are pretty yeah, happy good to go that how oh, you stopping it so i already already downloaded this four files from polyheavens generally known as uh, texture heaven so i'm going to select and add the texture so if we add the texture the the curve shaped wall will uh, acquire a stone like uh, shape and uh, stone like images which will give our uh, field that our um, yeah here you can see oh this look like a cave right uh, if you are happy with this uh, arrangement that's totally fine if you are not but right now I'm not happy so I'm going to do some extra work here I mean the same thing that I did with the you know, straight path here now I selected press U and you can select a smart UV projection or just unwrap uh, whatever is suitable for you so I'm just going to smart UV projection here we go now this will look good if we come to the mm, yep this looks good if not looks good then you can resize and arrange it as per your requirement now the second thing is that we need to set the camera to set the camera press 3 so that uh, we can place the camera at the appropriate location z z scroll down press 7 to look from the top and uh, z x uh, here right z uh, z uh, y so that you can come in closer r z to rotate it okay press uh, shift tilt oh no press zero so that you see the camera press shift tilt and move the camera okay now if you are not happy with that you can re i mean change the camera again so i just select this z and place it here and zero or shift tilt and this one so to zoom press w 
here and to zoom out press s side view like that when I mean, you can play with that that's a good uh, good option okay so now i am a bit happy with that okay so now it's time to add the light uh, here we got uh, see the light is coming from the entry part so we have the light and press g and place it over here if you're not happy with that z z again so that's come to the wall go to okay press zero now you can see this is how it will look right i mean if you uh, want to reduce the strength select the uh, light source come here and reduce make it like 200 what or if you want to give the different color like this so that it will give some good and if you come to render image just wait and see how it will look okay now this looks something that we're expecting now you can play with it and you can deform it uh, whatever way you like so that you can give it a good realistic view right now you can see this one light is coming from that part so you can also fix it so i hope uh, this is not a very good tutorial but it will help you to understand i mean the creativity and for the motivational purpose that's it i'm not a very pro and also learning so if you think that is good you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe for this channel thanks a lot bye bye